and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. As usual, there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. Now that I'm finally back in the swing of things, I do try to post seven days a week, sometimes multiple times a day. I just had a lot of personal issues going on. If you guys saw my video, which is why I had some downtime, which is very, very unusual for me. So it is so awesome to be back sitting here and filming with you guys and hanging out, having girl time, makeup, new things. It's been way too long. It's been like, aside from that one video, it's been like three weeks, I think now since I filmed because of the vacation and then all the crap that went down. I mean, maybe it's been more like two and a half, but either way, it's been way too long and I'm so happy to be sitting back in this chair. Like you have no idea how much I missed you guys. I just did so much. Now this video shout out goes to Maya Jordan. Maya, Maya, I hope I'm saying one, either one <laughs> correct. If you've been catching up on my videos, you know that I so suck with names, but oh my, oh, this timed out on me. Thank you so much for the really sweet comment that you left and how I gave such an informative review and that you just were confident about buying the product. I just, I won't get into what your comment was about, but how you can just, I, everything about the comment aside from you putting your faith in my review and how informative it was, you're so, so sweet. You're exactly what like the Fawn family em embraces, what we are, We just, I mean, it's amazing. This community is so incredible and I am so happy that you found my channel. I'm so happy that you did purchase that item and that you are loving the item as much as I do because it really is a game changer. And I was so, I was, I had the same worries as you did, but no more. I love it. And I just realized this is making its first appearance. Look what the heck you bought me. <laughs> I used to have these crystal cases on all of my phones, uh, but a little bit larger, and he got the best. Like, this is like little crystals and so blingy. This is the AB uh, Swarovski crystals, if you guys are wondering, because I always go for AB. My iPad is AB, and then every Blackberry I've had, I've done it, with the exception of this Blackberry, because I just didn't know if I was going to be holding on to this one or what, but I love this baby so much. So I'm back to myself again. Like, I did, I've had a crystal case for at least eight years on my cell phones and to not have a crystal case was killing me but with the finances and everything else I didn't get it so you guys are gonna be seeing this baby all the time because Kirk got it for me today and I was so excited so Maya, Maya, Maya welcome to the Fawn family thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a part of this amazing community now, this video is on the new Marc Jacobs release. Uh, obviously, the Omega Bronze is not really new. He just repackaged it, so the original one is in silver. I do a, a demo and a sh unboxing, and I show you guys everything in a moment anyway. So I did demo everything from Marc Jacobs, including the bronzer, even though this is the bronzer that I use every single day. I didn't use the new one, but I did open it, smell it, check it. It's identical. It's just, it has flashy rose gold instead of um, the silver. But this... Uh, oh my goodness, I'm so just like excited to be sitting here right now. You have no idea. So you guys already know if you've been with me for a while, this is like the only bronzer that I use. I don't ever use anything else. Whenever you see my makeup tutorials, I list every single product used on my face and in the demo 
like period everything's listed out this is always the bronzer unless for some reason I'm testing out a bronzer so today I did demo it on camera just so you could see the undertone and how it looks on my skin type and how beautiful it is to blend and it just becomes one with the skin and it is awesome so I love this but it, to me this is like a voodoo magic something I don't know I bought this one last summer and I use this every single time I do my makeup like every time and I go in and I bronze down my neck I should have done my shoulder <laughs> we'll just pretend that you know it's all even out for this we'll just I jumped right in way too quick quickly but I do bronze like crazy I'll bring it over my whole chest area when I'm wearing a dress and there's like the slightest indent in this and this is from last year I don't know how I haven't hit pan I honestly don't you get the nicest sized mirror it shows your whole face you can do your makeup in this if you needed to so this bronzer I cannot recommend enough that's why I bought a backup because he does seem to be releasing one each summer but just in case I needed a backup because there's just nothing like it it is the perfect like undertone warmth bronze it's not like too warm and orangey like I used to love Mac give me sun but then looking back on older videos I'm like damn like that just is not a good shade for me this is perfection so oh and then I know you guys are gonna end up asking because I I always end up forgetting I got this shirt from Nordstrom I can't remember what the company is but it was like 59 bucks or something and I picked it up in four shades I don't know if that was all of the shades uh, so for anybody wondering this is from Nordstrom and it has like really cute pockets down below it's like a long tunic just side note anyway <laughs> I picked up the setting powder I read you guys what it says there's not much to it it's a beautiful setting powder it almost has a blurring effect to the skin but it doesn't say that it is it says it's a perfecting coconut setting powder but and that the shades invisible not translucent and it does have like a slight tint to it I cut my mesh because the mesh was driving me crazy I couldn't get enough product out at once but having that little bit of a tint to it will make sure you don't have flashback and this did have almost like a blurring effect to the skin. It is a really nice powder. I did end up going over my face with my long comb radiant smoothing powder in La Peche because I love my radiance. But I did test this out on camera so you could see it and it is beautiful. But this I don't believe is limited edition. I believe this is added into his... Um, entire coconut line because it's not in the special rose gold packaging so I I believe this is gonna be a staple now I'm not a hundred percent sure though but I do think so and then the beautiful palette that is also this one is limited edition because his other ones that are black are not and this one is so if you guys are interested in it make sure you pick this baby up now I was not impressed with the swatches at all with the exception of the bronze shade but applying them with brushes really gave so much more of an impact and they were so blendable so buildable I mean the color intensity you can see it it is there it just didn't swatch well for some reason and I don't know why but the second I started using a brush the color was there and everything about Marc Jacobs formula is amazing nothing has changed to my knowledge anyway it works the same as the rest of his shadows and they are right up there with like Natasha Denona Pat McGrath like Marc Jacobs shadows are fantastic and it is steep because you do only get seven shades and I think it's $49 for the palette uh, but it is a nice quick and easy all-encompassing palette you know you have your transition shades you've got your 
banging metallic. You have a couple more subdued uh, metallic and a satin, and then you've got all your transition shades. So it is a really beautiful palette. I love all of the ones that I have. I have to still uh, demo all the black guys and the black packaging for you, uh, but like the Wild One limited edition palette that came out for the holidays. <sighs> that was so good too. So this is so much nicer as you're using it compared to what you see for the swatches. I did also incorporate the new shade from Stila, which is Beauty Junkie. And you get it, I do a swatch of this and a close up too, so you can see this baby. And this is so gorgeous. You guys need to pick your hand, get your hands on this. If you love pink with gold fleck, which I know Gracie V, Grandma Janet, I know a few of you girls would be obsessed with this. It is stunning. So I did also pop some of that on. On as well and I'm currently wearing MAC Dazzle Glass in rags to riches on my lips in case you guys were wondering and we are also at the five week recovery period since my lip augmentation so everything is starting to settle and feel way more normal it's still a little bit tight I can still feel a little bit of the silicone implant like it's not a hundred percent my lips yet but they're definitely getting there just thought I'd throw in that little update so so far so good and yes that is everything so if you guys want to see swatches of all of it I didn't swatch the bronzer but I demoed the bronzer uh, <laughs> but if you want to see swatches of the palette the uh, Stila and then just see the powder in action as well, then just keep on watching. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my first video back. I can't believe how long it's been. I haven't even worn makeup since, like, I don't know, three weeks now. So uh, I might be a little rusty today. We shall see. But I'm really excited to be sitting back in this chair so we can film. I have a rid ridiculous amount of new releases. I was actually going to start with the MAC and Patrick Star, but then the new Marc Jacobs just came in and I'm like, hey, no, I gotta do this one first because I've been dying to look at this palette. Uh, the Omega Bronze is what I use every single day that I do makeup, so I already know how much I love this, so I had to buy a backup. I'm thinking that maybe they bring this back every single summer. That seems to be the trend. So I just bought a backup, but these two are brand new. So this is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi-Finish Eye Palette, and it is in 790 Fantasy. <laughs> so this is that limited edition rose gold packaging. So they did throw the rose gold packaging on this too, but they called this bronzer uh, limited edition last summer and the summer before that. So that's why I really think that it is just a summer limited edition and once it sells out, it sells out. But just so you guys know, I don't understand this formula. Like, I don't get it. I've been using this every day since last year and it doesn't even look like there's a dent in it. And I go in ham when I bronze and I do my neck, my chest, my shoulders, like to even everything out. So, I'm not going to be using the new one because that would be silly. It's the exact same thing, but I needed a backup because it's like a, the perfect color. It's my favorite bronzer I've ever used, but it goes on and on and on and on and on. I, I really, it's voodoo. I don't understand it. It's magical. There's a, like the slightest hint of coconut. It's not overpowering the way Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is. Like that one, you open the drawer and you get punched in the face with coconut. This one is the faintest smell and you don't even smell it when you're applying it. You have to like get up in there to smell it. So I will be using my typical bronzer. But let's see if they updated the packaging. So this is, of course, 104 Tan Tastic, the Omega Bronze 
Coconut Perfect Tan Limited Edition. And it says it's a universal bronze coconut delight seamless matte finish. And Marc Jacobs Beauty is a cruelty free brand. Oh, they did update the packaging. I see the rose gold little nub. <laughs> This literally just, okay, I could just open the box. So, oh, the Marc Jacobs is in rose gold too. My camera really doesn't like to focus on white, but this is the old guy that I haven't even hit pan yet and I really don't understand how. And here's the new baby, so this is beautiful. Nice. The smell is the same. I love the size of the mirror with this compact too. So this will be my backup and I bet you I will still have this one by next summer. But you know, while it's here. All right, and then this new Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. Yes, I am obsessed with, obsessed with my long comb and I will be going over with the long comb because I like my radiant finish but I do want to see this is a perfecting pore perfect invisible finish seamless setting coconut delight so it's 34 invisible oh my god I love the packaging oh that is so cute I can't believe oh this is not limited edition okay because it's not rose gold so it launched at the same time but this must be part of their line the coconut line I would imagine okay it doesn't really say anything else so we'll set the face and see what it looks like but you get eight grams or 0.28 ounces it has that nice mesh netting. I really do like when products have that kind of a sifter. So we will be putting her to the test. Which one has the sifter that I've been... Becca? Becca's new one, I think. The water one, maybe? I don't know. But we will test that. I'll do that on camera, too. Like, I'll do the eye look, and then... Uh, in case you guys haven't seen the bronze, I'll bronze on camera, I'll set on camera so we can see what it looks like. But now for this baby, because I have the entire collection, even though I haven't had a chance to do tutorials on all of them and dedicate videos to them yet, I do have all of them, so I had to have this one. And it says, Fashion Finishes Plush Performance Dress Your Eyes. So there are four fashion finishes, velvet, satin, silk, and lame. All right. And you get seven shades at 0.85 grams a piece or 0 0.03 ounces for the pan sizes. This rose gold packaging is so stunning. haven't even filmed my ridiculous haul video yet and this is part of it too because it did it in stages after this was released so I still have to kind of have to like put it back together afterwards because I'm cheating by using it now and then I'm going to film my haul video. <laughs> okay so it's white, very sleek. You have the shades on the back. This is just like the most beautiful a mirror shadow protector. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Look at those shades. Oh my gosh. No coconut smell in this one though. This is beautiful. I mean the bronze is obviously the most popping but that like ballerina pink and that peachy color looks so pretty too. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get to swatching these and then I will be right back. 
I just realized that I have Stila's new Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Beauty Junkie. And I just swatched out the shades. I'll do a zoom in. But I'm thinking that that might be really nice to incorporate into this look as well. And Stila is also a cruelty-free uh, brand. Oh my gosh, she's stunning. Oh, oh my gosh. That is the prettiest pink with gold reflect. What? Oh, wow. You guys will see a zoom in in a second. That is... Whoa, this might be the prettiest shade that they Stila has released to date. And I need to figure out a way to use this. Wow, all right, let me zoom you guys in so you can see all these swatches. But Stila is killing it. Like, okay, zooming you in now. All right, here is the new palette from Marc Jacobs. I'll give you guys a little close-up, and then I'll give you a close-up of the Stila. Look how unbelievably beautiful this is. I am in love. They killed it. I love that they keep dropping new shades in this formula. It's so amazing. See what, oh, I should have swatched that lower down. But see what I mean with that Stila shade? Like, I'm all about that right now. So, these other ones actually are not impressing me that much for swatches. I'm a little bit shocked. So, we have Flesh. Oh, my gosh. Covets. I don't know. Fantasy. Is this baby? She said, is that one? Me, yeah, is this baby? Uh, for more, the dark chocolate. And on the dance floor is that peachy, orangey peachy color. So I'm sure everybody who has received this palette is obviously, I would imagine, using the bronze shade because that really seems to be the star of the show. So I will switch it up use these transition shades and make a look out of it with the Stila and the transitions because I'm sure you guys have seen the same thing over and over and over and this is way too pretty. So I will see you in a second. All right, starting with my Carity E31, I'm going to dip into this baby first and start building, building the crease and above. And these are so creamy and just delicious and there's like no kickback. Yeah, this is going to be just kind of already what I have laid down as a base. Alright, I'm going to stick with my Carity E31 because that shade was essentially what I used to already set my eyes with beforehand. I'm going to skip over that taupey shade because that won't really work well with what I have envisioned. So I'm going to jump into this baby and do the same thing. Well, that shade just blended out so effortlessly and it was so buildable. This formula is so amazing. I love Marc Jacobs. Now I'm going to take my Moda Pro crease brush and I'm actually going to dip into this shade. Even though it's not a metallic, I think it must be more of a satin. I wish it actually said what these were. Because it's not a flat out metallic, but it's not a matte, but I really want to get some of that orange coral warmth into my crease, so let's just see what happens.
Yeah, it's definitely a satin finish. I'm loving this palette with how it applies, how the color payoff is, and everything like that. I just wasn't impressed with the swatches, but it's performing really well with brushes, and that's all that matters. The swatches don't really matter, so just so you guys know. Now I'm gonna take my MAC 242, and I'm gonna lay a base of that metallic pink. It's so faint, but I wanna see what we can build that up to. The Stila on its own does not need a base, but I'm just trying to make as much use out of this palette as possible. So we're gonna Milani her up. Put that over the whole lid. Ooh, that is pretty. This has like an iridescence to it that I did not see coming. Yeah, so if you guys go into a Sephora and you swatch this, try to play with it instead because swatching it does not do it justice. I was not expecting this pink to be so pretty. I actually kind of want to fluff that pink shade upward a little bit too. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs the crease brush and taking it dry. Just make this a really glowy look. I really like that. Now it's time for Stila. Again, this is Beauty Junkie, and it is part of their Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, because they do have a few different kinds now. I'm so excited for this. Oh, that shade is so pretty. <gasps> I was debating on white versus champagne to like cut the crease and just make it a little bit more boom, but I'm loving how glowy this is. So I don't think I'm gonna do the white. The champagne color has some like micro fine glitter in there. It's not going to be harsh like the Too Faced because this is gold and so I'm kind of torn, but I think I'm going to try this one. So this is the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Space Cowboy. So let's see how she looks. And then we can always put glitter over top. I don't know if I want to go all the way. I think I'm going to wait because I'll probably want to do a double wing with this. Alright, I'm going to leave it like this for now until I go do my oh my god, liquid liner, and then decide if I want to add some glitter or what, and then I will be back to do some bronze, or the setting, and then bronzing, and all that shebang. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, it is time to test out the powder. I just put to the test the Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation, and I do not like it one bit. I think it's like cake face. It's settling into my fine lines. I ended up having to put on like pretty much a face full of concealer uh, to make it look uh, anything okay. I honestly was just going to take it right off but 
I want to see if this can work magic on this disaster. So we're going to see. So I'm going to oh, use my beauty blender to really push this whoa, into the skin, which I don't normally do. But I want to just really put this to the full potential because I'm not happy with my foundation. Okay. What? I feel like that just blurred to the crap out of my skin. Like, in a good way. I take it back. I do not like the... Um packaging with the mesh. It's not enough product coming out for me at once. Yeah, so this powder is very, very mattifying. Any little bit of luminosity I had that you can see over here that's a little bit glowy is completely gone and matte. But I feel like it did kind of bl blur a little bit. I don't think it's anything like magical, but I think it is a really nice powder. But I really need to get like in there. And this is not helping me. I think I'm going to just cut the mesh. I've never actually done that. But this is really driving me crazy. I'm sorry, Marc Jacobs. I don't like mesh. And Mama needs to get in there. <laughs> I'm making a disaster. That is crazy. It's almost like it just erases. And it does say translucent, but it has a slight tint to it, so I don't think there would be any flashback issues with this either. The only thing is, even after, oh there's powder on my nail. Even after pushing it in with the beauty blender, my face is still tacky. So it gave like a nice veil of slight blurring effect, but it's not, my face is still very, very tacky. So it's a good thing that my plan was to go back over it with my long comb anyway, because this is not like locking it down. So I'm gonna go do that off camera, contour, and then I will be back to show you guys the bronzer, even though it's the bronzer I use all the time, just because it is a fully dedicate a video to Marc Jacobs and I will be right back. All right, I'm gonna just take my original Omega Tantastic because it's the exact same thing, but I wanna keep the one, you know, sealed and not touched because this one, I, like I said, I have no idea how uh, there's not, like there's a little indent, but I just don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> so uh, this is the Tom Ford bronzing brush. Number five. It's one that I always use when I went over my brushes with you guys in my, uh, it was, that wasn't even a brush collection video. That was just like my go-to brushes, <laughs> which was crazy. But yes, if you guys actually want to see my whole collection, oh my gosh, let's bronze first.
And since this isn't a very warm bronzer, I always feel like I can go a little bit heavier with it to bronze up the skin compared to like, uh, oh my gosh, MAC Give Me Sun. That one is way too warm and has too much of an orangey undertone for my skin type, where this one is just perfect. Like I go in and I don't even tap it off because it just blends so effortlessly and being not a harsh color, I love it. All right, I'm gonna go finish up. Oh, I should show you guys. This is the bronze. It's just perfection. It's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face makeup off camera, and then I will be back to do the lower lash line. All right, I ended up uh, doing not a double wing, but I just added that Urban Decay liner right on the corners of underneath the wing <laughs> for an accent just to tie it all in together and then went very golden and peachy with everything else and I did try out a bunch of new products from MAC and I dedicated a video to that so what I do have on right now are two I mixed two of the blushes I picked up four of their new shades so I have like me love me and sweet enough and I swatch out all of these so you guys can really see it. This blush formulation is so good. It is so pretty and smooth and buildable and to mix both of these together was no issue. It's just it was such a smooth blend so I can't wait for you guys to see how these perform because they are awesome. And then MAC brought back uh, Whisper of Guilt and I never actually got a chance to get my hands on this shade before so that is the beautiful beaming blinding highlight on my face right now. And then I also picked up both Fix Pluses and I do a really close up on my arm so we can see the flecks of gold and pink in each. But right now I doused my face in the gold one. Oh, I forgot I didn't even use my Lila B. I was going to do that before coming back on camera to just make that even more glowy because why not? This does leave, I mean, I doused my face. Like, I go crazy. I just, I love bringing that moisture back. And it does leave, like, a little bit of gold on your skin if you look up really closely. But I love this. It's just... If you guys are like so against shimmer, so against anything, this might not be the product for you, but I personally love it a lot. And then I'm wearing uh, Cake Face Beauty Lashes in the style Girl Bye. <laughs> and I think that is everything. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can get going on finishing up this lower lash line. Taking my Wayne Goss number 20 brush, I'm just going to start with this pink shade and smoke that beneath the lower lash line. I forgot to highlight my inner corners. <gasps> I can't believe that. <laughs> Now taking my MAC 212, I'm going to dip into the dark chocolate and get that nice and tight to the lower lash line. Now 
Now taking my Lexi 111, I'm going to go a little bit into the pink and a little bit into that shimmer and then back into the pink <laughs> and just smoke every or blend everything together. I can't believe I did it again. I forgot to record an outro. This was my first video back after not filming for a few weeks, so I'm so sorry, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the demo of everything, the eye look that I came up with, all the new products, because everything is so good. That Stila shade is magnificent. I love it. The everything in this collection is so, so good from Marc Jacobs, and I have nothing bad to say about any of the products. So if you can get your hands on them, especially that bronzer, if you are fair like I am, it is the perfect shade. I would grab it while you can. But in the meantime, that does it for this video. Please thumbs it up if you liked it. Please share it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Kisses! Mwah.